All right, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you all the survival uses, and one really cool survival use, of potassium permanganate. All right, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, potassium permanganate and why you may want to have some of it in your um, bug out kits or your bug out bags or camping gear. Um, it has a bunch of different uses related to survival. Now before we start, I want to let you know this stuff can be dangerous or fatal, okay? You want to use caution, you don't want to eat it, you don't want to drink large quantities of it, and you don't want to get it on your hands and stuff like that. If you're going to handle it with your hands, um, I can tell you from experience as a little kid with a chemistry set many years ago, it'll dye your hands purple for a few days. But as a general rule, you don't want to ingest a lot of it, okay? But this can be used for a lot of different things in the survival whole world. The first thing is water purification. So, let me explain to you how that works. Now, this is largely a granular kind of purplish powder. Um, I'm going to get some out here. I made this little spoon the other night. Let's see if you can focus on that. Because I had nothing small to scoop stuff out with, so I made this out of wood. Anyway, let's get a little let's get a little bit on my thing there. Alright, there we go. See it looks black, but it's really kind of a purplish tint to it. Now if you're gonna purify, let's say, this amount of water here, okay? That's far too much. You want almost like even that's too much. You'll see why in a minute. Like, just that little bit of grains on the end there. Tiny little bit. You'll notice that when you put it in, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. See the purple in it? See the purple? And it's kind of cool because the purple kind of streaks down to the bottom because it's heavier than the water. So what I'm going to do is stir that up. Now you'll notice that water kind of has a little bit of a pink tint. Okay, it's maybe not very visible. Actually, it is visible on camera. That's safe to drink, okay? If it's light pink, it's safe to drink. You don't want it dark pink. And let me take a taste. Yeah, tastes just like water. No chemical taste to it. And that will purify your water. That will take out any kind of crud that's in your water, okay? The next thing is for disinfecting wounds. This is a very good um, antiseptic. And it likes it does very well removing fungus and stuff like that if you treat an area with it. So we're going to scoop some out here, and I'll show you about how much should be. And probably that much for see how much is in that. That's probably the right amount for doing fungus. You'll tell you'll see how much darker. Check out the purple in that. Isn't that cool? I always thought that was cool as a kid when I was playing with it. Now this right here, and you can definitely tell the difference. Very, very light, kind of pinkish, and dark purple. I hope that's showing up on the camera. It is, yeah, you can kind of see it. And this can be used to disinfect foot wounds or all sorts of stuff. You can really uh, do a pretty good job with uh, any kind of injury that you have, and you can disinfect it with that. The last thing that, uh, before we get into the coolest thing this stuff does, is to make an emergency signal. Say you're stuck somewhere. You can take this stuff, and as you see, it reacts with water very well. And you can just pour out a big X, or even put it in water and dump that on snow. You know, anything white with a white background in the snow will definitely show All right, up. but now we get into the coolest part of potassium permanganate. It makes for an excellent fire starter. And it will work pretty much anywhere. I'm going to be doing this inside here, um, just to show you how it works. And then we'll do a quick... Uh, fire with some tinder. Not a whole big fire in here, of course, but a smaller one to show you how it works. So basically you're going to pour this stuff out. Let's see. I want to say that's about enough. You don't have to go nuts with it. And I'm going to cover this up. And while we're on the topic of potassium permanganate, where do you get it? Um, there is what's called pot perm, and it's potassium permanganate that you can buy in like Home Depot and stuff. I believe it's used for some agricultural, uh, gosh, now I totally forget what it was used for. But um, you can buy it in like a Home Depot or Lowe's, or you can do like I do and order these little guys online. Fairly simple. It's not any kind of, you know, odd chemical that's gonna 
flag you as a dangerous person like ordering a ton of fertilizer or something. Pretty regular use chemical, no big deal. Now the next thing to make this light up, and this is a totally matchless fire, just need a little glycerin. I bought this at Walmart. You can buy it pretty much anywhere. Um, if you don't have glycerin in your local area, I'm sure you got an auto parts store, brake fluid. Brake fluid has glycerin in it. It'll have the same reaction. So let's start this up. And this will take a minute sometimes. It won't be instant. Mix it around there and see if we get a reaction. All right. Put a little more on top there. There you go. Now you can best believe that any tinder near that is going to catch rather quickly. <laughs> and as long as you're not standing directly over this, it's not going to give you any off any kind of hazardous fumes. If you're doing, I mean, I have my side door open in here. Um, if you're doing this in the outdoors, you're fine. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set up a little tinder, and we're going to demonstrate how we'd use this to start a fire in the wilderness. All right, so, I mean, you can do this on a rock. You can do this on the ground, wherever you're going to start a fire. In my case, what I'm going to do is I have a couple of pellets, stove pellets thrown in this little stove here. What I'm going to do is start a fire here with some tinder and take it, dump it in there, and see if it works out. So first I'm going to dump my tinder in this pot here. Really I'm just using this. You don't need to use any kind of holder for this. Um, I'm just doing this here so uh, I don't make a mess in my room here. So let me make a little section in the middle. Let's dump a little of the potassium permanganate in there. Decent amount. And again, remember it's not instant and sometimes you need to add a little more glycerin like we did before. Dump it in there and let's see it react. And Get a little extra on top there. And sometimes that does speed it up. I don't know why it's particularly taking a, a long time today. But again, there's no rush. There you go. You got your fire right with your tinder. There you go. All right. I'm going to take this. Of course, I get all clumsy when I start doing this stuff. Take off my top here. Dump it in there, and there you go. I have started a fire. So it's really, really simple. has a bunch of survival uses, a bunch of purposes. Um, it can purify water. It can help treat wounds. It can start fires. It can even give away your location in the snow if you're looking to be rescued. So it's a pretty handy thing to have in your bug-out bag. Um, it also works fairly well in damp conditions. Um, if you're using this in an area that's damp and you do these two together, you will get a fire. Anyway, that's the video. That's uh, all I got on potassium permanganate for today. I thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.